Hello, this is John Roman, and I want you to experience more ease in your life. If we haven't met before, again, I'm John Roman. I'm an international business coach and consultant, and my passion is to help you achieve the greatest life that you can. So why is everyone always wanting to be on vacation? Have you noticed that all they talk about can't wait to be a vacation? Or wouldn't it be great if we're on vacation? Like vacation is the primary topic and the excitement in people's lives. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm trying to ask and uncover why that is. Ask yourself, why do you get so excited about vacation and not as excited about other parts of your life? Have you considered that you could change things around such that vacation and experiencing the ease and freedom and all the awesome things that vacation brings to you, that you can actually have that in your life on a regular and consistent basis? That's the question, right? So let's dive into that. So here's this, let me hit some challenges that people have first, why they want to go on vacation. First of all, people in most of the world experience prolonged chronic stress. And why is that bad? Three out of the four reasons that people go to the doctor is because they experience chronic stress. 75% of the top six reasons people die, the major causal factor that aligns with all of them is chronic stress. So it's going to kill you. It's going to bring you to the doctor. And the challenge is it's important to align your life so that you are not needing to be on constant vacation. So this video is actually designed to help you to create more ease and well-being in your life so you don't need to be on vacation to live a happy, fulfilling, engaging, joyful, and free life. So, so now we've discussed stresses. So we all have stresses in our life. And let me do something first that will immediately direct and address the stresses. We're not so the reason people go on vacation is to feel like they can get away from their life, the stresses. And I'm going to do something that may seem a little counterintuitive to you. If you can take full and 100% responsibility for the stresses in your life, you can begin to feel that you are on top of that. So, for example, people have financial stresses, very common challenges. I got financial stress. John, my bills, whatever, okay? All good. If you can say that I can do something that can help me to change the impact that that's having on me, it will allow you to then at that point take responsibility. So you have two options in your life. One is that you can be a big door and the other is you can be a big dim. So I'm going to ask you, whoever's watching this today, that you take the stance of the victim. You can choose to be the victor and you can say, I'm sorry, the victim and you can say, oh, poor me, poor me, poor me. But trust me, there are things that you can do, however small, that will make you feel like I'm in the driver's seat. I got this. I can make these small changes to improve where I am. Any stress you have, there's something you can do to change it. There's always something you can do. And I'm going to encourage you to find the one of least resistance for you. But addressing it and talking about it with someone who's willing to listen is really, really, really helpful. So if you're stressed and experience anxiety, I would not encourage you to go and do something crazy or stupid. I would encourage you to talk to someone. So if you're ever doing something that you think is a bit crazy because you think that's the only way out, don't do that. Talk to someone. There is someone or somebody in your life, even if it's an anonymous stranger on a phone call that you can do. So... If you're ever experiencing that level of stress, just talk to someone. Trust me. Hey, Kelby. Good to see you. They will know uh, and understand you and want to talk to you. So that's a challenge of stress. So now let's dive into the true topic of today. And, and, and the reason I'm bringing up stress is, again, you running away from something, it's important you address it. You find actions that you can take that make you feel better and more empowered. So that's a biggie. Part two. What is going well in your life? So now let's talk about ease. What is actually going well in your life? And if you have a sheet of paper, I would encourage you to take it out now. What stresses are you not addressing that you need to be addressing? Here's what I need to do. Just write stress, write down the word, let's say money, and what's one small action step you can do that makes you feel like the big dirt? Take a second to do that. It'll change your life. Stop playing victim. It doesn't help anyone, especially you. Okay, now that we're out of being victim mode, and we've defined one small task. 
It also helps to have someone who will support you. So if you happen to know someone who will support you, do that as well. Okay, now write yourself on your sheet. What's working well in my life? What is something that is an achievement, a positive thing that is happening that I can work towards to help me to grow to where I need to go? So what's something that's working well in your life? And write down a word or two. So let's say my marriage. Or let's say um, I live in Trinidad, beautiful Caribbean island. Weather's perfect. The weather. It's beautiful every day. We're in rainy season or at the start of it, but it's still beautiful every day. So the weather, I love it. People don't always appreciate how gorgeous it is every day. Okay, you got that down? Good. Take a walk. Once you're doing that, if you ever notice like a walk, it's, it's, walk is almost like a quiet meditation. It's allowing your mind to kind of just open to be free. And this will help your ease a great deal. Something that I have practiced is a personal practice of mine that I think would be invaluable for those that are watching. Find something in your life when you walk that you can appreciate and ideally verbally express it. Tell, express to yourself, this is great. I love that I'm so, I'm feeling so healthy I can walk today. I love that there's sunshine or what a beautiful path. This is such a great path to walk on. Listen to the birds. You know, whatever it is for you. So find whatever it is in that walk. And this is an act of gratefulness, of appreciation. And when you physically move and, and, and kind of just saunter around, you'll feel good. Because your body's meant to move. Emotion is energy in motion. So allow yourself to move and enjoy the walk. And it doesn't matter if it's five minutes or an hour. But enjoy the walk. Take time to enjoy the walk, okay? Now, some other things you can do to help create more ease in your life, and that is to connect with those who you feel a great deal of love and appreciation with and for. So if there are certain people that you love being with, that make you feel awesome, that make you feel alive, that make you feel like you're having fun all the time, if it's little kids, cool. If it's uh, just great friends, cool. If it's your spouse, cool. If it's, um, it doesn't really matter who it is, who are they? Write them down on a sheet of paper and make a commitment to yourself to spend time with them. You will love it. You're like, yeah, we have so much fun. I mean, who are the people that you, when you, you, you may not make the time right now to connect with them as much as you should. But note to yourself, when you're connecting with them, how time flies and how you're having such a great time all the time with these people and that that is the common experience you have with them, I would make that a priority. Who can I hang out with that? And when I hang out with them, I feel alive. I feel good. Find those people. Who are they? Connect them more frequently. And you probably say every time, uh, we should hang out more. And you should. At that point, schedule the next one. It doesn't matter if it's rescheduled, but never leave a point where an appointment is not set for your next time to hang out. I was going to say lime, the training term, lime with your person next time. So connect with them. What are things that you love doing? So this also can great ease in your life. What are things that when you do them, the day flies away? What's the percentage of gardening? It could be walking or running. It could be walking on the beach. If you're blessed to live in a place where you can actually go to the beach. It could be playing with your children. It could be writing. It could be, everyone has their own thing. For example, right now, I'm not, I'm, this is fun for me. I love what I'm doing right now. I, I am meant to serve and help people become more aware of their max, their, their full capacity. I, people, I truly feel people can, believe, can achieve amazing things. So for me, this is not work. I'm having fun with you right now. I am talking directly to you. And how is it? Is it pronounced Kelby or Selby? Please let me know real quick, because right now it's you and me. <laughs> a lot of people will see this in the next day or two, but right now it's just you and me. So, um, and okay. So who are you connecting with? What are you? So I, I would, it's really helpful to find out who you are feeling a who who just makes you feel alive. So 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 the actions of ease. Uh, are often related to fun and freedom. So what is the most fun thing that you do that you have not allowed yourself to do in years? When's the last time you had a laugh? 
so loud. Your gut actually hurt and you were almost like in pain in your stomach. That's a good problem to have. So when was the last time you had a laugh so loud and for so long that you almost couldn't stop laughing? And who were you with when that happened? Connect and reconnect with those people. Because it's easier to do this and feel the ease and well-being. Trust me, it's not nearly as fun to go on vacation alone as it is with a, a, a loved one or loved ones. So create that within yourself in your life. So it's usually easier to do this with others, not a solo gig. So what do you do that that makes is the most fun thing you can imagine. So when you're there, you're like, this is awesome. I'm having a blast. That you would do this regardless if it were free or paid. Right? You'd be happy to do this. What is that for you? So ask yourself, what can I do that's so much fun? It just feels amazing. Please write that down for you. And by the way, if you're watching this, I'm going to say Kelby because you haven't told me. Kelby, do me a favor. Write down a couple things on the screen because other people will think, oh, yeah, yeah, I love doing this. I'll tell you what's fun for me. John, I love working out. I love hanging out with friends who we can have fun and engaging conversation with. I love um, moving. Um, I, I love actually, for, for me, speaking is fun. So the fact that I'm speaking to a few people online right now and, and, and expressing myself in a full way is fun for me. This is not, again, this is not work. As I said, this is a joy. So if I can share with you and help you grow, win-win. Um, well, we all haven't had a, a, lot, a good laugh. So. Find ways, so here's the challenge with laughs, and, and I'm glad you brought it up. The challenge with laughs is we often feel that we get so stressed and caught in things that when the time comes, it, it almost, it's almost hard to laugh. So there's a, a Qigong master in, he's in Thailand, I believe, or China, Thailand. His name is uh, Mantak Chia. He's a Chinese slash Thai Qigong master, and he has... A exercise where you literally laugh <laughs> out loud as an exercise. And what's funny about when you do it is you genuinely feel better. So it's kind of a forced laugh kind of thing. But after about 30 seconds, he recommends three or four minutes. <laughs> and you keep on going with that, right? And you go and you find a place that's safe and you do that. So Kelby, Kelby, thank you. I would encourage you to find a space where you can do that. So you, <laughs> so you can laugh and have fun and be free and be light. Okay. By the way, a lot of people feel great when they move. Um, I've only done a little bit of, of, of like uh, official dancing, but anytime there's music, music makes you feel good. So here's this great trick. Find music that makes you feel alive and you're having fun. So move, have fun, and dance with yourself, dance with someone else. It doesn't matter. Have fun, move. So dancing is a great way. Music. I just start, just start a little sway. Doesn't matter if you got rhythm. Rhythm doesn't matter. What matters is how you're feeling inside. Think about it. What's the half thing people do when they go on vacation? They freaking dance. Alcohol is not a requirement. Alcohol is an excuse to move. It loosens and lubricates a little bit, but tree, but the freedom of moving, you do not need the alcohol. Because once you have two or three minutes of moving and you're feeling the music, whatever the music is for you, I don't care if it's reggae, I don't care if it's R&B, again, whatever floats your boat and the boat can change, don't be fixed. Enjoy the music. Oh, I love this song. This is great. And you're feeling the song. You're like, mm -hmm, this is my song. I love this song. Oh, I remember that song. Don't worry if it's a 30 year old song. If you're like 65 and you remember this when your mother was playing when you're like three, who cares? Play it. Feel free. And when you begin to do this, you will feel alive again. And, and the you that is you will show yourself to the world. Okay. Another thing, freedom. Ease is freedom. Ease isn't entrapment, slavery. It isn't, if you notice, like I actually, in other talks, you may hear me talking about this, I view our money system as a form of slavery. We are bound to work to get out, uh, to, to 
to pay for food, to pay for housing, to pay for transportation, for clothing, for whatever, for this internet, right? It's not a free, there's not a, the system has bound us. And, I, and I'm waiting and I'm really actively praying that a better system is manifested so we can all get out of this trap because I really think it is awful, okay? And with that being said, how can you experience more freedom? And you notice when people go on vacation, they saved up for it. They have a little extra for the food at the bar. They could buy that guy a drink, the stranger, who they're like, he's cool, I like him. And they feel more free because monetarily they feel like they got it. And you notice how naturally generous 95% of the world is when they got it. If you had a million dollars in your pocket right now, Let's assume you know a million dollars. And, and I'm talking to several people across the world. Here. So let's say a million US. You got a million US, this pile of money. Wouldn't that be nice? Of course it would be. Imagine for the moment that you feel the freedom that that gives you. That freedom allows you, hey, Cal, we all good. Please come back, check the rest out later. I got about five, six more minutes of stuff I'm talking about. That freedom of having the money is really liberating. And if you can find ways to experience freedom, you will feel that you're not bound and constricted anymore, but you're now free. So find ways to feel free. All right. <laughs> Last but not least is actually something called coherence. Coherence is a physical form when your body is not in what's called fight or flight. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to die. And oh my God, I'm gonna die, is what is the stress state, the flight or flight. Oh, your body thinks, and it could just be traffic, but it thinks that it's gonna die because what is happening is dangerous. It doesn't know if it's traffic or if it is a tiger. So it creates all the, the endorphins and this mix of chemicals. And, and, and the worst one that's released is dopamine. I'm sorry, dopamine? Cortisol, excuse me. Cortisol, the stress hormone. So cortisol is bad because it sits in your system for 27 hours. And when it sits in your system for 27 hours, it causes inflammation and people don't sleep as well. They experience anxiety. It's awful. So there's an exercise which actually utilizes focusing on your heart and a breathing technique and creates what's called coherence for your body. And coherence allows you to actually feel a sense of well-being and override the stress response that is talked about. So your body will override the stress response and it will feel alive and at ease again. So a cheat, a jump, a leap, a, a hack, if you will, to experience all is well and that ease and well-being is this coherence breathing technique. And for time and all that, I don't have time to go over it now, but if you are in Trinidad, I'm actually gonna have a workshop, a stress management workshop. We will discuss ways to relieve the stress you're having, ways to become the victor versus the victim, and two powerful techniques. One is actually a giant drop of the stress, which is called EFT or tapping. You can look it up, it's awesome, but we'll do it so you feel it. It's always nice to read about stuff and people say, oh, I can always look that up. But how often do you actually do it, really? So this is an opportunity for you to actually do it, experience and feel this drop of whatever stress you're going through. It's very, very powerful. And the second is called a coherence breathing technique and a heart sentry technique, which is truly amongst the most powerful self-help tools that I have ever learned. It's that amazing. So we'll deal with, we'll do those. We'll also do a little bit of self-talk which is how you speak to yourself. And uh, it's a 90 minute class. It is, um, the date is the 30th of June, 3-0 of June in Santa Cruz Green Market, in, which is again in the beautiful area of Santa Cruz. If you haven't been there, you'll love the market anyway. Starts at 11 a.m., ends at 12.30. The investment is 125 TT prepay, 125 prepay. And day of, it's 175. So should you come day of, you pay 50 TT extra, but 
that is the um, that is the fee for that day. So you pay day of 175, 125 prepay. Any questions? I would love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear how you. Hey Jennifer, Jennifer Campbell's watching. Jennifer, how you experience ease and well-being and freedom in your life. So Jennifer, this has actually been a quite an awesome uh, live I did. It'll be done and you can rewatch it. And so if anyone has any questions on the event on the 30th, I'd love to answer them. And I will post this to the actual event page. But uh, if you have any questions or if you love to attend, please let me know. And I'd love to hear back about how you experience more ease and well-being in your life. So we can do that in future topics. If there's anything else you want me to talk about, let me know. I love doing this. This is a joy for me. So let me talk about things that you want me to talk about so you can get John's perspective. And then last but not least, um, share this with your friends. They would love it. They all need to experience more peace and happiness and fulfillment. So all blessings to you and your family. I hope you enjoy your rest of your day. Bye-bye.